Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you five really easy ways to draw trees on your fantasy maps that will make it look fantastic. Plus some bonus styles you can use along with them to really make it pop. For most of these trees you only need one pen. That means you can start right now. You ready? Of course you are. Let's go. For the first technique we're going to draw a load of little overlapping ovals and I've stupidly left my hand in the way so I'll speed it up and you can see where I start to move out of the way. So all we need to do is draw nice little ovals and then behind each oval we'll just overlap another one and when you overlap just use about half the height of the tree behind. If you can draw an oval you can draw this style. And then the next step on here is to give the trees a bit of shadow. I like to just use a little bit of black line coming out to the right hand side. So let's have a quick look at how mountains would interact with these trees. So we'll draw a little basic mountain and then in pencil we'll just draw a little guideline of where we're going to put this forest around it. So you'll see we'll start overlapping and then as we get to the line where the mountain is we'll put the trees behind that line. Finally we'll add a little bit of shadow to them. And my OCD can't leave that mountain without any shading on so I'll just grab a thinner pen and just shade it in a little bit. If you want to learn how I draw mountains there's a link showing on the screen right now. This next style is more suited to an isometric style of map. So imagine our top down map tilted back about 30 degrees will give the forest more of a horizontal accent than a vertical. In the middle of the tuft of trees we'll give it a bit more dimension by adding a curve of the details. Using really light pen pressure just move that pen tip very loosely over the page and you can just get the sort of texture of trees by being really gentle and following the little lines that you've done going in. And then in the middle try to follow the curve you did in pencil and just draw some little bits of detail connecting each side on that curve. I think that looks pretty decent on its own, but we're gonna go in and draw a few little legs as well. That'll leave it in little doubt that it's trees and not a big cloud. So again, really nice light pressure with the pen. And as we get to the edge of the mountain, you can kind of follow the contour of the mountain down into the trees with the lines you're drawing. Next up is a very popular style. It's very similar to the first style, but we're gonna use a slightly more elongated shape for the tree. This is hard to describe, but any tree that's on a line that sort of faces south, we're gonna draw the whole tree and any tree that's on a line that faces north, we're just gonna draw the tip. So you'll see here on this diagonal line, I'm drawing the whole trees as the diagonal line faces south. But then as it turns to facing north, I'm just gonna draw the tips. And as you get to vertical lines, well, you're gonna to have to make your own decision on how you do it. But I like to add a few whole ones and then a few tips as well. Along the bottom row, you can add a couple of extra little trees in just to give it a bit more depth. And then in the middle of the forest there, we're just gonna draw several tips just kind of on their own. And finally, we'll add a bit of shadow just like we did on technique one. So we use exactly the same technique to draw this with a mountain. Again, we'll draw the lower trees first and then we'll just draw tips around the higher trees. So as the mountain comes down into the trees, we'll just follow that contour with our shape of the tips there. Add a few tips in the middle and then add a little bit of shading and your job done. This fourth technique is really nice and easy. We'll just draw a jagged line all the way around the shape that we want to draw the forest. And then with a slightly thinner pen, I'm gonna use a Pigma Micron 005. We'll just draw some little tufts around the edges and it will give the feeling of depth to the forest. And if we wanted to draw a clearing in the middle, we do exactly the same thing. Now this technique won't actually work with the mountain in the way we've drawn it so far. So for this technique, you'd have to just separate your trees from your mountains, give them a bit of space in between and it will look fine. And if you prefer, you can add little legs to it just like I've done on this smaller little forest. The final technique here is a bit more of a kind of comic style. We're just gonna draw lots of tufts around the trees and it's gonna be similar to technique four, but a bit more cartoonish. And for the inner bit, we'll just use exactly the same pen, exactly the same style of tufts and just draw them in. So a bonus technique I like to use, which I think goes really well with techniques one and three, is drawing little pine trees. And these are so easy. You may have seen me do them before. You just draw a little vertical line and then with your pen, just sweep it up. I'm gonna start really small here and just get bigger and bigger. And you can see how the technique doesn't change. It's just a little flick of the pen. And then for each tree, you can give them a little shadow. Again, we're going off to the right. And if you wanna draw them around a mountain, just tuck a few behind and put a few in front. A few extra options for technique one. Vary the shape of the trees you're gonna draw. You can see you can use little triangles, you can use circles. It's quite nice to mix some circles and ovals. That gives the feeling of different sorts of trees within a forest. For technique two, if you wanted to try and incorporate more hilly forests, draw the kind of shape of the hills first and then use that outlining technique kind of isometrically to draw those hills in. And once you've done that, just go through and give them some legs just like we did before. And as technique four really kind of lends itself to this top-down look, here's another way that you could draw kind of mountains and almost cliff edges around it to give it a better look. This is with a very thin pen, 
using very light pressure, just flicking lots of little lines until it starts to look a bit like a cliff. And that's crying out for a bit of shading, so I'm just gonna add a little bit in pencil to see how it looks. And let's add a couple of little houses just to give it that kind of village touch. So drawing fun castles could complement number one quite well. Here's a little castle I'm gonna draw. If you wanna see the video on how to do these, it's showing right now. As technique two is a bit more zoomed out, we can use this very small house kind of effect to draw some towns. There we go, five styles of trees in about five minutes. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And if you use any of these, show me. I'd love to see your work, it makes my day. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time. Cheers.